Hedera HBAR, we could potentially be seeing a nice shift in the AI industry and we could be one of those players that will be leading that. Now we do have a new update from Max Walker Williams of behind the scenes footage in regards to Davos 2024. We do have an update from Charles Adkins in regards to what has been going on for the annual meetings and of course the price action of HBAR coin today which we will be getting into. All I ask from you are two things which is to smash that like button and to subscribe to the channel as well. So first things first, we're going to take a look at this as you can see from Zepsi. It says over here that the Hedera consensus service is the best in class technology for ensuring data integrity in AI models at scale. Now as we know when it comes to AI there has been a growing concern in terms of whether information is true or false because we have seen not only a lot of deep fakes but other pieces of information which can be manipulated using AI. Of course that is just the nature of it when other people are going to be using it to their advantage but with the Hedera consensus service we are able to have those valid and verified transactions. As there's this you know, huge surge of people that are creating AI algorithms, we'll be at the point in which there's a groundswell in which you don't have to give up the integrity of your work and you don't have to trust even a platform to do it, but instead you can have these cryptographic primitives that we've all been talking about to go and train your AI. And there it is, directly in Hugging Face, and I'm very proud to say that we've been working with our friends at Hedera to natively integrate their technology directly into that. And so what you can see there is that we've anchored the integrity training of the model right there on an HCS transaction, which is the Hedera consensus service. And so that means that the record of the AI activity or attestation is now distributed on the Hedera network in dozens of places, it is immutable, and it's governed by some of the world's largest companies to ensure that the integrity of that ledger will persist. That's the type of trust that you're able to get with a system like the Hedera consensus service. And in our case, that's one of the anchors that we're using in order to create trust in AI. So we're very proud of this because what we believe is that it will allow for a groundswell of easy ways to prove exactly how you trained your AI model. And by doing that, we have a final chance to understand the bias, we have an understanding of how to actually confront all of the challenges that we have going forward. So it's a small step, but we're trying to place very powerful cryptographic tools easily, seamlessly in the hands of any and one use case that we actually have for this I believe is the Project Starling which is on the Hedera's website. Now with Project Starling they essentially had journalists go out and take photos of the Capitol riots in the US which was some time ago and I believe that they were operated on the Canon cameras. They leveraged the technologies like Hedera Hashgraph throughout the whole process in order for the transactions to be recorded on the public Hedera network and what this means is that we have these verified transactions and so we have other pieces of information for example when the photo was taken and the date and location which puts the trust back in the people and the integrity of the photos as it goes to show that this photo is true and it is not fake and I think that that is definitely something an issue that we are seeing among the journalism and media industry and so when it does come to that issue the Hedera Hashgraph is able to provide that solution. Now Max Walker Williams has come with some behind the scenes footage. Yeah so something really interesting has happened There's, at the end of the corridor down here is the um, Fortune CEO event right but I'm going to show you something look at this Right, so at the bottom of this corridor is the Fortune CEO event. And they've made a mistake. They think this is an interview section for that. So they've set up the cameras and they're interviewing all the Fortune 500 CEOs coming through. And the backdrop is Hedera and they're all getting photos. And doing interviews, and Hedera is everywhere. Thank you. See you later. <laughs> Sorry. I mean obviously we can't say that there is some sort of connection between these CEOs potentially partnering up with Hedera. It is of course just taking pictures behind this backdrop but one thing that I do want to mention with the Hedera team is that the marketing has been pretty good at this Davos 2024 event. They have definitely utilised it within their area in terms of the monitors and also these walls and the banners that we have seen outside of the hotel and so I think it is a great opportunity for other people to actually see and gain exposure. That is what this event is for of course networking. Again this is just a little update but I don't think that 
that anything will be coming out of this from the CEOs. One thing I do want to mention is in relation to Lehman Bird. You'll see over here that we had this tweet from him talking about the fact that when we work together, we can essentially help users be safe and build trust and reach our potential to help in the world. He does believe very much in collaboration. And we have an opinion from Philips J. Buckholz, essentially praising Lehman Bird, saying that he is one of the smartest people that he's ever known and that he uses the mathematical and computer science genius to create a world in which people can trust each other. And he understands that tribalism is a threat to the human species and shared trust is the only way we can survive and grow. It is good to see that we are having some sort of positive praise for Lehman Bird and he's obviously got a very good reputation. But like with everything, I always say to make sure that you see what people actually do in terms of their actions. I mean, we already know that Algorand and Hedera are actually partnering up in collaboration for the Decentralized Recovery Alliance. And so that is one thing that we are seeing in terms of the trust. And he is also helping people in being able to have that recovery in terms of your private keys and passwords by actually having these helpers. So it's still decentralized, of course, because you actually put the trust in the helpers, which are the people that you know. And it does seem like as if Lehman Bird has been delivering. And so with that being said, so far, so good. From Zepsi, we have over here that the Hedera based and BBC licensed Doctor Who. If you're in the UK, I'm sure you would have heard of Doctor Who and you would have actually watched the programs. Card game is how we take NFTs to the mainstream. This is some of the most beloved IP with one of the most passionate fan bases globally. And what's best is that they've already minted 1.4 million NFTs on the Hedera Manit. And so of course, when it comes to these collections and these NFTs, you do want fan bases. And that's essentially how it is able to be successful. And this is important because we already have over a million NFTs on the Hedera Manit, which is the real thing. It is not the Hedera testnet. So good stuff from there. Salsa Swap has announced this just yesterday. Since August 2022, Salsa Swap has soared with a 200% increase in total value locks compared to the broader DeFi market. And this success has catalyzed user and developer growth, firmly establishing Hedera's presence in the realm of decentralized finance. I think the last time that I actually showed the total value locks for you guys was roughly around about 75 million that we had. I'm not quite sure if they've actually passed the 100 million. However, what I do know is that yesterday we saw all time highs for Salsa Swap. I do think that they actually reached a price target of nine cents, but for today it has come back down ever so slightly at say eight cents. We also saw this update as well, which I said in my previous video with regards to auto pools coming to Salsa Swap. And I will be giving you the next update when they announce this. Before we have a look at the price action today for HBAR coin, Charles Adkins has said yesterday that the Davos theme so far, pundits are pessimistic, but builders are incredibly optimistic. And I'll always side with the builders. Again, when it comes to cryptocurrency innovation and all this technology and building, we definitely need people that are obviously on board with it. But of course, the builders are essentially going to be the one that will be actually creating this technology and providing these solutions and the ways for us to develop even further. And so it is good to see that we are having some optimism over here and that we will always be signing with the builders. It only makes sense. The price action for HBAR coin today, as you can see, is currently trading at 0 0.07489. We are down by 4.43%. So we're just below that mid range of the 7 cents. For the 24 hour volume, we are up by 62.27% and we're trading at $58.8 million. In the earlier hours of the morning, as you can see, we were trading at 0 0.07522. Now we actually have come to a low of 0 0.07259. We've come back up though ever so slightly just a couple of hours later. On the seven day chart, we are down by 8.86%. So we have taken quite a bit of a hit for this week. And you'll see over here where we were pretty much at that eight cent mark. Now, just two days ago, it was great because we actually managed to get into that level of the eight cent zone at 0 0.08146. Now we were actually able to hold that level. So we have come down by about half a cent as of now. On the one month chart, we are down by 5.65%. And the lowest that we actually went to on the 8th of January was 0 0.07196. And ever since then, we were actually able to get back up. But we're now roughly around about a week later, we have somewhat come to that price point again. We've not yet mirrored that price point, but pretty much mirroring the downward trend. Now, I do want to see HBAR coin get back up to 8 cents and see if it can hold there and remain strong. I want it to essentially be in the consolidating zone. I mean, if you have a look at the one year chart, we are up by 30.75%. But let's see if we are able to get to the mid range of the eight cents by the end of January. Guys, if you want daily Hedera HBAR coin news, subscribe to the channel and like the video as well.